Um, so today, if you didn't get a chance to catch it today, there was a, a live stream from uh, Mr. College Park or uh, DJ Smurf in a past life. If you thought D-Nice was good, D-Nice was a great world party. That was everybody hanging out with each other and enjoying music together. Mr. College Park was an Atlanta party, and specifically an old Atlanta party. It was, and that's why, I'm, that's why I got this shirt on today. So shout out to Four Locos, who's the um, Atlanta creator responsible for the shirt. Please go patronize them on Instagram uh, for the Locos. But it was a great Atlanta party. I mean, it was people checking in from Georgia Southern, FAMU, Alabama A&M, uh, Southside, Creekside, Doug, Mays. Everybody from the age who would enjoy booty shake music was there. So it was a great event today. So again, if you if you have a chance, if you're at home board, please get on Instagram and check out your local DJs. They're doing an amazing job. But to the point of this video today, um, I know me and some of my friends have had fun uh, making jokes about kids that do homeschool. And now all of a sudden, all the kids are doing homeschool. And we've been thrust into the world of homeschool. And I think everybody has a appreciation of teachers. And so stop, round of applause for teachers. Teachers. Uh, we look forward to giving our kids back to you. Uh, and I think one thing you guys probably should do. So here's what I would do. So if I was a teaching organization, the smart move would be to go back um, once we come off quarantine, if I was a teacher, I will go directly into striking. You have proven your worth. Within the first week of being quarantined, parents were ready to give their kids to anybody that will take them. So use that leverage, go on strike, and fight to get more money. I mean, that, that's going to be the win-win for teachers. You get a break from quarantine, your government's hopefully they're still paying you on top of that. You come back and you get that raise because everybody understands how important your work is now. Strike, ask for more money, and say, we ain't going to take your kids back unless we're going to get paid more. As a parent, I happily pay you. Hey, look, take the money, take the kids, teach them. But this also brings up something else. So I have, I have two small children. One is in, in daycare, and I'm still paying for daycare. And so my question to some of the other people going through the same thing is I'm still paying for daycare and my child is here, which means that the absorbent amount of money I'm paying is no longer going for protecting my child, feeding my child, uh, giving them things to do during the day. It, so am I wrong? for feeling like I shouldn't be paying for daycare anymore. I mean, public school is a little different. Maybe some of the people in private school can let me know. Uh, if you're doing daycare or private school, are you still paying for it? And do you expect to pay for it? If so, what are your, what are your kids getting out of it? So my daughter received a, uh, they built an online system that allowed her to do Zoom with her friends. And so I think they're using a free version, so it's maybe 20 or 30 minutes. But I'm paying a lot of money for that. And and for that, I got friends. I, I can I can put my daughter on Zoom with her cousin and they can talk. I mean, it, I understand people need to work. I understand that um, you know, we don't want to put anybody out of work. But that's a lot of money. And kids eat like three, four times a day outside of dinner. And I got to cover that too. And y'all stressing my wife, who's doing an amazing job. But, hey, I, I could take that money that I'm paying daycare. I could slide that over to my wife and she'd have a much better day. So am I wrong for not wanting to pay daycare anymore? I mean, are you all experiencing any, anything like that or anybody... <laughs> anybody in private school uh, who's having to pay for something like that are you still paying are you still charging you for it uh, please let me know because uh, I don't want to feel like I'm a bad person but I am asking myself what am I actually paying for right now I mean they did a, a group activity but you know 
teaching four year olds is like herding kittens. And it's hard to herd kittens in person, much less put all the kittens on a webcam and you try to herd kittens over a webcam. That's ridiculous. So God bless the teacher for doing her best, but what what are we really doing? I don't know. Now switching over to the homeschooling piece, uh, I would like to say that my wife is doing an amazing job at it. Go check her uh, Instagram and Facebook. If you should need help planning a curriculum for your child for a small nominal fee, we will work together and make sure your kid has an amazing homeschooling experience. This is definitely an ad. No, but um, my, my kitchen is completely turned into a classroom. There's like boards everywhere. Um, if you can see it in the post she's doing, they're doing time, she's reading more. I mean, we're running a full school over here. And so God bless the parents who are really trying to make this work. I know this is week two. Hang on, be strong. <laughs> you got three more months of this at least. Uh, I'm being real. This is going to run to at least the end of June. Um, so, hey, find something. I mean, we can't, we can't keep them in front of the iPad and, and the computer all the time. You got to find some other stuff to do. Uh, get them to read. If you seriously, now this, this is a, a serious matter. And I see my wife on the Instagram live stream and I'm sorry for volunteering you, but if you're coming to a point where probably around week two or three and <laughs> I see you're going crazy uh, and you can't figure out what to do with your kids, please, by all means, contact us. Uh, or I'm volunteering my wife again. Contact my wife. Don't contact me. I can barely read. I'm just good at math. I do math. I do chemistry. I do physics. I don't do reading. So, but she could definitely help you guys out with maybe coming up with some curriculums, coming up with some ideas. Um, that's, that's her profession. Uh, so if you need help, please, please contact her. Um, and, and that was really it for today. I really just wanted to stop and say, you know, this is the first day of seeing what my daycare and school system is going to do for my student. And I get it. I mean, and, and here's the crazy part about it with daycares. Um, you have to apply to get in. You got to go through these interviews. You have to be selected. And now they got you in a position where, you know, they, they need money to maintain um, maintain a facility, but you're going to charge me the full amount to hold a position? Like, if, you, if we could negotiate something realistic, you know, I'll back off and I'll pay, I don't know, $100 a month, maybe 150 at the most to hold a place until... We come off of the quarantine, but you can't charge me the full amount. That That is ridiculous. I think that's highway robbery. You can't charge me the full amount and do 20 minutes a day on Zoom. Yeah, that's just not going to work. I mean, I guess, what is what are some of you guys experiencing? Uh, looks like a lot of people are doing, who have family members who are teachers also, which makes it great. So, again, but, oh, um, so... I would also say reach out to some of those teachers. If you have teacher friends too, to get ideas. Cause I think everybody, in the same way we're seeing a bunch of content around music and entertainment, I think we should see an influx of uh, content for education. Melissa, what do you mean they can't do that? <laughs> they can do that. They are doing it. In fact, me and my wife are trying to figure out what to do for the April bill. So the April bill is coming up. And, and if you know about daycare, it's, it's substantial. And I'm trying to decide, will we keep paying it or should, <laughs> should we gamble? Uh, because I know this is going to be, I have the feeling it's going to be three months. Just right off the bat. This is going to be a three-month process. And we got to figure out something to do for three months with my daughter. Yes, it's crazy. But it is what it is. Um, so... I think that's going to be it for tonight. Just want to do uh, a couple of quick videos. I think I, I do want to get into talking about stocks. So I think next time I come on, I'm going to do some research. And the stock market is very interesting right now. Um, you know, I have some talks with a lot of family members who are business owners. And we're seeing some interesting things in the stock market. Um, I would definitely pay half if they would allow me. Uh, but I want to do some research and maybe talk about some stocks. I know... As of today, uh, Zoom jumped up 16%, and I know that 
my family was a part of it. We've done group chats and things of that nature. Uh, but you know, I want I want to look at some stocks because there's a lot of there's a lot of stocks that have been falling. And there are a few that are going to be on the rise again. So uh, I want to do some research and maybe talk through uh, what are some good advantages of some stocks that we could purchase if you qualify for that that uh, 15000 Not 15000 I don't want to talk about I wish it was 15000 The 1000 per person and 500 per child, if you actually qualify for that, I want to go through and maybe figure out some potential stocks that you could go through. So uh, I'm going to do some research and and see what the best options are and maybe come back with a list of it um but definitely something like zoom uh, my family uh, we had a conversation over a, a family group chat about some other ones i want to look at the ticker and maybe figure out what are some good options uh and later i have plans on maybe doing some interviews so if i can pull together some skype calls where uh you know one of the big one of my big concerns during this time period is how to stay healthy um, I made a post about the quarantine 15. Maybe I, I'm trying to do my best not to just go around and munch everything every time I walk into the kitchen, because you don't want to come off of quarantine and then go to the doctor and find out that you done destroyed your whole health. So uh, we got to figure out that piece also. So uh, I'm going to have some people come on and maybe talk about health, man's health, things that uh, guys can do to keep their uh, mind, body, soul, and skin um, in good condition. Uh, and so that's just some of the ideas. So again, this is the second one, first official one. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas for topics, things you want to talk through, uh, please just let me know. So it'll probably be this late because I have I'm a I'm a working husband, and so after I get off work, I need to spend time with my family, watch the kids, feed them, hang out with my wife, and then once everybody is about asleep, or at least uh, my lovely wife. Hi, Kim. Uh, will allow me, then I could come down here and maybe make, and create some content. But thanks again for joining, and we will see you next time. Mm-hmm.